Hey guys, still here. The episode 1 ending was rather abrupt and sudden, because I made a mistake in the editing. I was not done with designing ships at all. And, well, um, here's the last part, where I finish off the Littorio design and build another ship. And, yes, you will probably see me make the mistake of having all of the ships loaded with mostly high explosive, which is going to come back to bite me in episode 2. See you guys there. Let's see how that would look on this ship. Mmm, it don't fit. Gun's too big. Unless we push these further forward. Go on. You're attaching to your friend here. Okay. So if I move you two together forward, I can move you forward. I move you forward. Might. Yeah, ish. Ah, uh, nah. It's not quite how I want it. We're gonna go for smaller guns. 18 inches are too big for this ship. 16s? 16 triple? There. And... Oh, come on! Fine. What if I get creative? Uh -huh. <laughs> now it'll turn. Does that mean I can still use 18 inches? Come on. Fit. Whoops. Yep. You just gotta get a little creative here. That's fine. Push that back. Push this back. Fix that weight. Offset. Don't remove the barbette. Thank you. There. This I can work with. It's a weird-ass ship. But it should allow for quite a lot of firepower. We're gonna go with oil. Uh, we're gonna go with heavy barbettes. Maximum range finding. Coincidence. No, Stereo 5. Light Hydro Station. I don't think I need that. Um, cap shells potentially are enough. Because you still get a pretty decent reduction to maximum AP shells. Ricochet. And let's say I'm fighting at 15,000 meters. I can, I can pen 34 inches. That's a lot. I can pen 37 inches. Like it. TNT, two powder, I can pen 39 inches. Maybe too much. 22 inches. 32. Just standard shells. This is fine. Okay. What else can I change? Steering. <sighs> Displacement. Auxiliary engine. I might have to take some of the range off, because 21,000 is potentially too much. Or reduce the torpedo blister a bit. Because I still want better loading. Enhanced gives me 68 seconds. 57. Okay. It's not great, but we're just going to have to make this work. Advanced hydraulics. And let's add some secondary guns here. Six inches are most likely not going to fit, so we're probably going to have to use fives. But they won't turn. Fours. There, get close to me and I will kill you. It's just going to be a little bit... Well, it's going to take me a bit more time to do it with four-inch guns. Two inches. These turrets also have two-inch rooms, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay. And I have an aft weight offset problem. Um... 
Okay. That took off a bit more than I was expecting. Come on. Left the Corvette. A little while balancing later, I have the ship at 0 0.1 aft weight offset. I still got a little bit of tonnage left to max out my type of armor. Although I don't think I need to change too much. Because this game has given me a lot of armor on this ship. We're going to go for a 15 inch main armor belt. Try to get 7 on fore and aft. And main deck, I think at 8 inches is good enough. 5 inches of deck would be great. Conning tower is good enough. Superstructure, I think, is good enough. Uh, turret armor is a lot. Nine inches top armor. Still got a little bit of displacement left, which means I might be able to get a better engine shaft. There. And that's going to reduce rudder, uh, yeah, rudder time, so turning time. Turning circle won't be good. 651. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Right, I think this thing is just about done. I'm going to balance it out, and I'm going to move on to the next design. Okay, done. Ship balanced. 67,277 tons out of maximum 67,320. Ship's going to cost me 220 million, so I'll probably not have more than two or three at best. And that means that uh, I can still project power quite far from home at 20,000 kilometers. The ships are not terribly quick, but they're heavily protected. They fire 18-inch guns, which are most likely extremely accurate. And they have 4-inch guns to defend themselves against anything smaller than that. The only thing I didn't look into yet is the uh, HE type. Considering the 18-inch guns here have, at long range, a very poor amount of um, HE pen at 0 0.4, 0 0.3. High capacity. No, a bit more. Nose fuse. There. 10,000 meter range, let's say cruiser-ish, I can deal about 7.4 to 8.8 .8 inches of armor pen with high explosive. With the 4-inch guns, most likely firing armor piercing at shorter ranges, which still gives me a very respectable 7 inches of pen, thanks to these uh, standard shells. All right, moving on to a new ship class. Let's see, what else are we going to get? Because now I have the, the ship killers, the, the sorry, the um, uh, cruiser killers, I got the battleships. Let's see, how much money do I have left? Because that is fairly important. I got 1.4 billion left. Hmm, it's not bad. Let's build three battleships. And these are going to sit uh, in the Cagliari port. No, I can only have one in the Cagliari port. Livorno then. You two are going to go to Livorno, and one is going to sit in Palermo. Palermo, where are you? Here. Okay. What? Oh, shit. I have one of the battle cruisers in Palermo. Okay. You're also going to go to Palermo. Here. This way, I can already have the Latorio and the Giacchino go together towards here. If they can make it that far. Because your range is not as good. But hopefully good enough. Okay. They also had a couple of light cruisers and destroyers. That is something I am very confident I can deal with with my uh, battle cruisers. I have a battle cruiser and yeah, I can I can keep the Austro-Hungarians at bay pretty consistently. The Germans have five battleships, two battle cruisers, eight heavies, and 14 lights. Let's go with one fairly average heavy cruiser. The Italians have a ton of design options here. We got everything from heavy cruiser one to heavy cruiser six. Let's go with the middle ground. Oh, this is going to be a curious platform to use. What fits over there? Right. Could I make an evil design? No, that won't turn. If you up the draft, could you fit a 5-inch? You can, but it won't turn. No. It's a weird hull. I'm not going to use it. Heavy Cruiser 3. 
Um, the objective of these is just engaging, well, basically everything. Let's set them at 33 knots. Oil one. Let's give them standard gear turbines. This is mostly a ship that you're going to see quite a lot of. And because of that, I won't make them too expensive. Just some upgrades here and there, but not a ton. This is going to be basically the mainstay of my fleet. <clears throat> I can go as big as 11 inch guns or 8 inch. I think 8 inch is good enough. Side by side? Would that work? Mm, not very well. And it still only gives me six barrels front. So I might as well just go with standards. Unless... That gives me more firepower against smaller ships. But against bigger ships, they're going to struggle a lot. No, I'm going to go for the more traditional 8-inch. Oh, that is tall. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's way too tall. Big funnel. We got a fuck ton of 4 f set. Make this thing smaller, please. Let's go to... How small can you get? Yeah, good. 12,000 tons. You don't need to go bigger than that. Modern tower. One. Secondary tower. There. Funnels. That. I'll check the engine efficiency in a bit. 8 inch. Triple. Triple. 4 weight offset. 58%? <laughs> no. Okay, let's build a heavy cruiser. You got a couple of different options. You got the heavy cruiser six, which is a really large ship at nineteen thousand five hundred. You got the heavy cruiser five, four, three, two, and one. And. I like these, these platforms here, but they're not necessarily useful. Let's go with a 5. Heavy Cruiser 5. But small. These are going to be the backbone of my fleet. So I'm going to give them a modern tower. That doesn't fit. Modern tower f 6 then. We get the targeting tower 2. Okay, I'll take it. If we increase the beam of this ship, I might be able to make use of these positions for either torpedo launchers or secondaries, 5 inch. I might have to use 4 inch secondaries here, but I don't like using 4 inch secondaries. Do we have a smaller main tower? Something a bit sleeker? That will turn, right? Not as well as I would like. What if I swap these? So put 5 inch over there and the torpedo launchers here, because they need less room. Like that. Um, can we fit a torpedo launcher under that? No. Okay, these are going to be pretty big torpedo launchers. I'm make them 24 inch electrics, so they're not as easy to detect. Main guns, I'm thinking 8 inch. Like a, a double barrel, 8 inch there, 8 inch there, 8 inch here. Might need to use a barbette, otherwise it won't exactly work. Oh. Sitting too far back on this barbette. Medium. Oh, now we got a hefty aft weight offset. That's not what I want. Is that barbette really that heavy? 185 tons? 
I'll just make it a secondary then. Like another secondary 5 incher. Yeah, that fixes it. Something is not quite right. Okay, so we got secondary 5 inches there and there. Triple torpedo launchers here. That's a 24 inch, yes. I'm gonna give you a cheap radar. I'm gonna give you an okay rangefinder. Better sonar to not get torpedoed. Uh, an okay citadel. A bit of barbed armor. A small torpedo blister. Anti flood, okay. Reinforced, okay. Quick for armor. Let's go with the funnel. Um, type of engines. Diesels get really expensive. Gear turbines, too, then? 62 million. No. Standard gear turbines. Small funnel here. I can only fit one. 14% engine efficiency. Yeah, we're gonna need to go a little bigger. 64, and we're still not there. Hmm. Come on. I don't like this thing overhanging like that. Can I put this here? No. In that case, I might not need as much beam. Torpedo launchers are not exactly enjoying their spot. What if I put the torpedo launchers on the stern? Larger launchers. Still got a four weight offset, but I can fix that. Let's push this back, bring this in. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. One eight, I can make that work. These will turn, these will turn. Aft weight, somewhat heavy. Small torpedo tubes in the bow? No. Sadly not. Small auxiliary engine then. Standard quarters. Propeller shaft. I'm trying to keep them around 50 million. I think that's acceptable. Increasing their reloads. Increasing hydraulic turn. Um. Let's give these full semi armor piercing shells. So that they can... Well, actually, that means that they cannot do damage against bigger ships. At least not as well as I would like. But I got the torpedoes for that. Sort of. That can damage a lot of different targets. Minus 65 torpedo visibility. I can probably make that work. Powder, T4 for more stability. Incendiary, just a base fuse so I get more high explosive pen. What if I go for maximum high explosive pen? Capped ballistic. Yeah, that would allow me to damage most targets, I think. Push this forward. 3819.3, good. A bit of displacement left for armor. 9 inch main belt, 4, 4, uh, superstructure. With this displacement, I might be able to upgrade to triple guns, giving me a lot more firepower. 1, 2. Also problematic with the weight offset again. There we go. Yeah, this is not a bad ship, I think. Can we put two inches secondary anywhere? Okay, there. I don't really want to put them there because it's... No, actually, it's not that bad. I thought it was going to interfere with the firing angle, but it's not too bad. Yeah, quite like this ship. 47 million per? Not a bad ship. Electric turning. 
464. We're still under the price that I thought it would be. Range, 12. 16. Oh, that's too much. If I improve the oil, it's too expensive. There. Good enough. Ferdinando. I'm going to call them the Ferdinando class, not the Ferdinando 2, so not just to confuse myself. All right. We're going to save this ship. And we're going to build a bunch of those. So that's the Ferdinando. Let's make 12 of these. And I'm going to let the AI set the ports because I want them to be spread out like that. All right. Start the campaign. I still have 88 million coming in. So let's set the crew training to max. Transport cap to max. Monthly balance is still 68 million up. Increase research to flank. Um, turret mechanisms are going to get me what? More gun reload. Yeah, I would like that. We're going to boost that to five months. Sure. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today. Um, the next video will be coming tomorrow. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to cover. And I'm looking very much forward to playing this campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed the ship designs. Uh, more action coming tomorrow. And of course, if you haven't seen it yet, check out the other video that I did showing all the different changes in this mod. Sorry, in this patch. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon for more.